and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video Guide. And today, I'm going to be going over the best budget beast in Madden 20 right now. Now, you guys have been loving this. Like, some of my most viewed videos is budget beast. Clearly, there's a lot of you no money spent guys out there, some of you budget guys that need some advice on some budget beast. And, guys, I've done the searching, I've done all the research. I got you guys with a great budget beat list. Budget beast list, budget beat. Budget beast list. So, make sure you stay tuned the whole video. I'm going to work it from number 10 to number 1. So, I'm going to slowly start making my way up. I made some, I have some additions to the old list. Some guys gotta stay, right? Some guys are just so good at budget piece list that they gotta stay on the list. Some the number one guy maybe stays, maybe he doesn't. But things I do change the order. But a lot of some guys do stay. This list though has like seven new additions. So the list has changed a little bit because I haven't made one in about two plus weeks. So obviously we've gotten some more budget piece team of the weeks. A lot of new things that have come out. So. Before we hop into this, guys, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notify bell, boys, for your daily Madden content in every way, shape, or form. Make sure to go down below, comment down below if you need any help, any questions on some budget players, and if you guys have any other guys you recommend as a budget player, comment down below. I can use them for another list, or I can have them down in the comments for other people to see for this list and add them to this list as a community list down below. So make sure you're always helping. And can we get this video to 350 likes? You guys have been going crazy this week. YouTube's been great. Views have been great. Everything's been great because you guys have been killing with um, the likes and the comments and everything. So keep it going, guys. I'd appreciate that. Helps the channel grow. And we have a goal of 20K by the end of February. So let's keep it going. Now let's get into this bit. So let's start at number 10. Head on over to the auction box. You guys can see their exact prices. Now the first guy is a new edition coming at number 10. I don't know when he got a car, but this car does seem pretty solid to me. And that is DJ Moore. DJ Moore, Team of the Week card, looking really, really solid. This is a David Moore, obviously, but he doesn't look as good as a DJ Moore. I'm about to show you guys. So DJ Moore, where is my DJ Moore? There he is. 49K, 88 over a wide receiver. So he's got 90 speed, 90 jumping. 86 catching, 85 catching traffic, 87 spec catch, 81 short route running, 81 medium route running, 82 deep route running. He's like a do-it-all type receiver. And not just that, if you guys go down below, he's got good agility. He's got good excel. And what really makes him stand out to me is going to be his after the catch. First off, he can kick return. He's elusive. He has good bar carry vision. He has a pretty good stiff arm. And he has a 91 juke move. See, not a, lot, a lot of budget receivers might have good speed, but they can't juke. And juking is important because even if you're fast, you still have to make a move. It's very unlikely that you get a bunch of catches where you're just wide open. And you take it the whole length of the field. Especially when you're not exactly the fastest guy on the field because a budget team is never going to have the fastest guys on the field. So you're definitely going to need some juking. DJ Moore looks really, really solid. I'm a bit, and I like DJ Moore in real life. Very physical type wide receiver. So next one, we got Tart, the brand new playoff card. Jaquizzi, Jaquizzi Tart, 55k strong take. This guy is a beast. 88 speed, 89 excel, 79 tackle, 89 play rec, 85 pursuit, 79 man, 84 zone, 89 hit power. Chemmed up on a budget squad. And I, he can't be powered up, obviously, but chemmed up. He's going to have really, really good stats. If you put, like, run um, like run stuff on him or whatever, he's going to have a 90 hit power. His, his zone of a lockdown can get up to, like, an 87. He's going to have great coverage for a budget team, though. Remember, he's going to have great speed, great excel, great coverage, great play rec, great hit power. He has, like, all the th all the five things you need as a safety. Not He's not the greatest at all, but he has all of them to a really good extent. And that is why I think he's a great addition on a budget team. It's very rare on a budget team. You get great speed and great hit power and great zone. It's very unlikely to get all three of those. Next is a guy that you guys need on your team at this point. He's a year-long card, and if you don't have him yet, he's at a great price, and I highly recommend you go scoop him up. That is Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald basically has been super cheap for quite a while now, 54K. Guys, he can do everything. He's decently athletic. He almost has 90 power move threshold. Put the right cam on him, and he does. If you power, if you power this guy up, he will have 90 strength, above 90 play rec, above 90 power move with the right cams too, obviously. Close to 90 block shed, great finesse move. He's gonna be able to do it all. Aaron Donald's the, the jack of all trades, and he has decent athleticism, especially in a budget squad. He'll do just fine. Number seven on the list. Another guy in Aaron Donald's case that all year we're debating who to pick up. And now, guys, super cheap basically card. Khalil Mack, basically 45K. He has 78 speed, 80 acceleration, 88 power move, 89 play rec. Those are the two important stats right there. You can empower this guy up. You will have the 90 play rec threshold while having a power move threshold, having a great block, a great athleticism. That, that's the beauty of this card, right? Because on a budget team, you're going to need the pass rush. Pass rush is going to be important because most guys you're going to go against going to have great lines. If you don't have a good pass rush, they're going to have all day in the pocket. And if you know anything about Madden 20, you give them too long in the pocket or too long to uh, set up their runs, you're going to get absolutely destroyed. Next is a cornerback. One of my favorite cornerbacks in the NFL, Jair Alexander. His football outsider card is beastly, 37K. 89 speed, 89 excel, 90 agility, 80 jumping, 83 play rec, 85 man, 81 zone, 87 press. 
chemmed up in the right scheme, he's going to have probably close to a 90 press with great speed. So he's going to be a very physical athletic corner, which is important. Sometimes if you don't, sometimes when you get budget cards, you're never going to get great zone and great man without sacrificing athleticism. So I'd honestly rather get great athleticism, great strength, like great press. I mean, great physicality because they'll at least hold people and then the coverage can come afterwards. But he's going to be great. Going to be a great cornerback overall. I really do like Jerry Alexander. I think he's a solid addition. Now we're into the top five. Another guy who makes this list that I have to clarify because you guys tell me he can't get certain things and he can. Everyone says Steve Young can't get Dash and Deadeye. Steve Young can get Dash and Deadeye. He's 94K. You got to power him up. Obviously, most cards have to be powered up to get their abilities. He is the cheapest card that can get Escape Artist and Dash and Deadeye. He's one of the best budget beasts that you could ever have in a Madden ever. You power up and chem him up, guys. Going to cost probably like 120K total, but that's going to be your budget piece centerpiece. Your quarterback, you can't go cheap on. Even on a budget team, you got you to sprawl a little bit. 120K is not expensive for a quarterback of his caliber. Powered from Kendall, he's going to have almost all 90 passing stats across the board. He's probably going to end up with go deep and powered up probably 90 throw accuracy deep, 90 throw accuracy mid, 90 throw accuracy short, 90 throw under pressure, 90 throw on the run, 91 throw power with 82 speed. He's going to get escape artist, which means he's going to be a beastly runner. He's going to be able to escape um, pass rushers for you, as well as have dash and dead eye, which means he can make any throw on the run with perfect accuracy, guys. you got to just go with him. I'm telling you, Steve Young is a centerpiece franchise quarterback for a budget team right about now. Next, we got John Ross. Still got to make this list. Obviously, there is a, here we go, the Redux version of him. 94 speed. He's kind of like your DJ Moore card, except DJ Moore can catch, route run, and juke. John Ross can't entirely do all of those things. John Ross is more of a straight line guy. He might have a juke. He has a 94 juke, actually. So, he has juke and speed, but he has really bad catching, really bad route running. So, at least DJ Moore can kind of catch a little bit better. He's a little more consistent. I recommend if you, you can even run both of them on a theme team, you hop on with both. You're going to have you're gonna have your burner and then more of your catching type middle of the field burner, which is important too, to have both. The John Ross looks pretty beastly, to be honest. He's not much of a catcher though, but again, you're, you're supposed to get him an open field. You're going to get him an open space. Open space, and you're supposed to just run and outrun everyone. It's kind of the point of having a John Ross card. Next, guys, I'm so happy to finally introduce this guy back onto the budget list. This guy was a staple on the budget team list for months. And then finally, he was kicked off of it. Philip Lindsay is back on it with his 89 overall team of the week. So this was the original one we used to have on there. Really solid card. Now we got this 89 overall team of the week. He has 90 speed, 87 excel, 87 agility, 89 carrying, 60 catching, 85 elusiveness. Trucking break tackle stuff, but he's got speed, excel, agility, good carrying, and decent elusiveness. He's a really well-rounded card, as well as I believe he has a good juke and spin. Maybe not spin, maybe just juke. Let's see. He's got an 85 juke, which is decent. He's a well-rounded straight line. He's a straight line runner with speed, but he's really solid. I really do like that Philip Lindsay card. And next day, running back that I think might be slightly better than him, but I think they both are deserve a spot on a budget squad. Matt Breed is the next one. Matt Breed has 92 speed, 90 cell, so slightly more athletic than Philip Lindsay. Slightly better agility, less carrying, less elusiveness. But as a whole, it's pretty much Matt Breed and Philip Lindsay are straight line speedy backs. Matt Breed is slightly better, but Philip Lindsay is going to be a little bit safer with the carrying. As well, Philip Lindsay could probably get him like a 90 carrying with the right cam, so it does help a little bit if you put like zone run or like Madden, uh, Madden rushing on him. So he's going to be a little bit safer with the carries. Matt Breida, though, super fast. He's not a receiving back, but if you get him the ball in space, he's going to be able to make great plays for you. And coming up first on the newest budget list, once again, the GOAT, Taysom Hill. He makes the list as the number one player once again. This 91 overall tight end, guys, that is not his price. He's usually cheaper than that, but the reason he's, so, he's even that price right now is because people have been talking about him. Guys, get this card for about 90k. Even 108k is still fine though. Awesome budget beast. Guys, 90 catching. I mean, 90 speed at tight end is unreal. My Tony Gonzalez makes plays because you have to understand that tight ends get glitchy matchups. So that's why they give us slow tight ends. If they give us fast tight ends, all you we we destroy the people because tight ends get matched up on outside linebackers with 82 speed. Tight ends get matched up with no one. Tight ends get open over the middle. Tight ends are always open, and if they're not open, they're not covered by the greatest guys either. They're being manned up by safeties without man. They're being manned up with outside linebackers, middle linebackers. They're being manned up by people who can't play coverage. And if they're not, then they're just not covered. That 90 speed is going to be game break. You do over the middle routes, you cut that right up field, easy 40 yards. My Tony Gonzalez with like 87 speed can break massive runs. He's at 90 speed. He as well as has 88 excel, 89 catching, 88 catching traffic, 92 spec catching, 83 short route running, and 72 run block, which isn't horrible. He can decently run block. He can decently route run. He can catch like a beast, and he can run this card's awesome. I think this deserves the number one spot by far. The takes him hill. You got to have him on your teams. I even contemplated getting him as a backup on my team, quite honestly, because he's just that. He's just he's a, he's the goat. I recommend you guys pick him up. This is my top ten list for my budget beast list. I don't know when you'll be seeing this. Probably sometime when I'm in Spain. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hopefully it helps you guys out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notify bell, boys. Come join the family. 
Make sure to comment down below if you need any help. Add some additions to the budget beast list down below in the community tab. Well, make a little fake community tab down below of a budget beast list you guys could be doing down there for help. And make sure to like the video. If we get 400 likes in this video, that'd be awesome. Spam the like button. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.